Welcome to the Bag Skate. I'm Nico from the TO. Yeah, we're not Star Wars fans here in case we, you, you we haven't aren't. This been is able to the, tell yet. This is the Bag Skate Cantina where we talk about NHL news. Mm-hmm. I totally didn't steal that from um, from Rebel Force Radio, but <laughs> I totally did. Um, in today's cantina, we're talking about Tyler Seguin. How he's disappointed. Yeah, you know what? We kind of went over this when we were discussing him earlier in the top 20 centers about how he he does put up numbers, but really though, it, if you're the stars, they haven't done anything with him as far as, I mean, what oh. have they been to the playoffs twice? Oh, this is a hot take. What are you saying? Get there. What are you saying? Can I trade him? No, no, no. Oh. But, <laughs> but, go. but, you know, I mean, look at what we talked about earlier. He doesn't provide much clutch wise or defensively yeah i mean are the would the stars give him a max contract oh i thought you were going with the hot take no 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 i'm, trade not, him. I'm, no, I'm not saying i'm not saying they're gonna trade him because i don't think they are <laughs> it's like oh boy but i just don't think he's gonna get the kind of money that he wants all right well if you won't say it i'll say trade him <laughs> trade him now no um yeah you know it uh he gets He's, again, he is a weird player in the fact that he'll get you 40 goals and is a phenomenal player. He's had 70-plus points the last three seasons. Um, he's more disappointed. What, the, what does the article say up there? It says that he's disappointed because um, he hasn't been offered a contract extension yet, which is kind of weird because he is your top center, don't get me wrong. And, yeah. and the Stars were in on John Tavares, as you remember, um, which... They were saving money for him, and now that John Tavares is obviously off the market, it makes you wonder, you know, where do I fit? You know, I am your top center, man. You'd think he would have gotten the contract extension by now. You would think. You definitely would. But ultimately, he, he's, he hasn't. So. He, he says here himself that it's it's been a long few summers of no deep runs. The goal since I touched down in Dallas was to get deep in the playoffs and hopefully win, so that's my focus clearly they have not done that yet yeah well don't get me wrong so dallas they're always in the running for for top players they got radulov they brought in Mathot that and with the idea that him and klingberg can uh can do something together um they went out and got bishop um and it just really hasn't hasn't worked out with the goaltending because of how bad Niami and Lettinen were. Yeah. Lettinen wasn't that bad this season, but it ultimately fell apart in the last eight, like the last two weeks of the season where they went on a losing streak because of that. They were all, those stars were also tied to getting Eric Carlson this, this, uh, this summer, but those fell apart. Um, I don't, I feel bad for Sagan in the fact that he is a competitive guy and he has, I think he he so let's just say he has 30 playoff games, 20 at 20 um 23 of those were at Boston, yeah. and he hasn't been to Boston Bruin in five years. Yep. And I mean, you play seven games. They lost in that first. I remember what they lost in the first round series against the Ducks, I believe, a couple of se- a couple of seasons ago. And since then, they they've won every single off season. It seems like off season champions for real. Jim they've, Nell. They've been the off season champions, and they really just haven't done anything with it and that's that's what makes it again it's you have tyler sagan as your first line center yes but who else is behind him radic fasca he was drafted in the first round he's a good third line center it's not a second line center yeah talk about the, talk right. about jason spezza jason spezza 7.5 million dollars he Old. has he hasn't been good in years years since now. Ottawa. um and i mean who else is there you have you have Ben Sagan and Radulov now doing all most of the heavy lifting work. You have Yanmark, who is a good depth player. Um, Pitlick's a good depth player. And then who else? Who else is on that team? Nobody. Nobody's on that team. They thought they thought of bringing. They're getting Nachushkin coming back over from Russia this year, right? Okay, but who is he going to center with? Yeah. Who is he going to? What are you going to have? You don't have. They tried Jamie Ben at center before, and that didn't really work out too well. And it's just you don't have a second line center. If Spezza becomes good, Spezza's barely a center in the NHL. He may he might even end up moving the wing now because of how how much of his skill as the kid. And he has he's not a good he's not a good two way player as well. 
which you know it just begs the whole thing where it's like you you have this team that's that should be good but it's it just on paper fall, yeah it just falls apart and that's that's where it gets me confused on what um on what you can do with the Dallas Stars and going back to the main point with with Tyler Sagan yeah, he's disappointed that he's not getting a contract right now. And keep, yeah, keep in mind, it is, it is August 30th. Yeah. So it's like, what other, what else are we going to talk about? <laughs> but I know there's, you're probably just some, this wouldn't even have come up in the middle of the season. Like, oh, yeah, he's disappointed. Boo-hoo. Yeah. Um, right. You got to keep that in mind. But I do, I do have to think about it. It is his last year of his contract, and he hasn't gotten an extension yet. That does kind of make me make you kind of wonder. It does. What yeah. what is Dallas's plan going yeah. forward here? All right. What would you what would you sign Tyler? What do you what would you sign Tyler Sagan to? I'm I'm Jim. What what's his name? Jim, Jim Neal. Neal. I'm Jim Neal. Because <laughs> yeah, they both have Jim. Sounds like Jim Benning back in in the office. In both the with Jays. You're Tyler Sagan. What do you what do you want? Well, if you're Sagan, obviously you're going to want. A max contract, as much as you could get. Do you think he's over? You think it's over eleven? Mm. Yeah, I know. That's it, it's it's a weird thing. Yeah, it's a weird it's a weird time when you when you have that kind of that kind of. What do we know? What the Ellis's cap situation is? They're good. They're fine. <laughs> they, does, who are the? They have nobody. I mean, Spezza's the only guy that really makes money. Ultimately, yeah. Ultimately, and from ben. Dallas, I probably do give him a big contract because. He deserves it. If he if he does walk away, you're losing all that offensive production. So, you know, if you're not getting much from him in the D zone, you're going to have to find bottom six players that can play that role. They can't. They can't. Nobody's going to replace 40 goals, even if you do get a no, bottom no, six. No, I'm saying that, that if they do re-sign him and give him that long-term deal, they're going to oh, have yeah. to find Surround those with role players. Yeah, I mean that's that's the ideal version for every team to surround with depth players. Yeah, and and I, they they have to clean it up defensively. Like you said, the goaltending hasn't been good. They have Ben Bishop now. He was injured last season, and, yeah. and then didn't end up being that well. And then this season, I think they brought in Kudobin, so Kudobin and Bishop are now um, the two people in charge of goaltending. Well, I don't know. Because you got Klingberg who had a fantastic season. Klingberg's um, good. Klingberg is a he is a fantastic defenseman. Heiskinen may be coming in and helping out on the defense. And then, if Mathot is healthy, then Mathot can come in and help on the. And there's actually a decent a decent D pairing there. And you have the good forwards. Maybe it all just comes together this season and everything's all happy and the Dallas Stars make the playoffs. Um, but that Central Division just get. Just, yeah, I keep forgetting they're in the Central. Now. It just keeps on getting better. Colorado made the playoffs last season. Yeah. I mean, Chicago could bounce back. Could. Possibly. Maybe well, not. We'll see. Probably not. They don't really have a, the defense. But they, don't have, they don't have goaltending. Yeah. They don't have goaltending. That, that's true. Cam Ward's not uh, oh, striking boy. fear in you? No, he's not. Uh, St. Louis got better. Oh, St. Louis got a lot uh, better. Nashville is Nashville. Winnipeg is Winnipeg. The Wild are still pretty good. Yeah, it's not... This is not – it's not a division that you can, like, start off slow in. Because once, oh, once you, once you get sure. to the, once you get to Thanksgiving, even – yeah, once you get to the American Thanksgiving, it's it's pretty much – That's <laughs> like, it, yeah. That's it. If you're not in the playoff spot, it's going to be hard to dig yourself out of it, especially because that, – That's weird saying that because there's so much of a season left after that. There is. But it's so true, though. But you're twenty. What you like 25, 20, 23 games in by that point by Thanksgiving, yeah. and by then it's like if you're if you're you, any you if know you're like what nine, you are at that point. If you're nine and fifteen by then, yeah. you have to win a lot of games yes. to come back yes. out of that hole and then make sure other teams. There's a, you're just relying on. There's too so many, much that has to happen. Yeah, exactly. You're relying on too many things at the same time so for many. your own. So many factors outside of your control. Which is kind of what happened last season with Dallas. They were good in the beginning, and they looked like they were in the playoffs. They were, I think they had like a 20, and let's just say for whatever sakes, they had like a 15 and 10 record. Um, and like I said, within the last two weeks, the last three weeks of the season, they just couldn't buy a win. Right. And then they ended up getting out of the playoffs, and then Colorado passed them. So it looked like it was going to be Dallas in there for a while, and then 
they back out. Um, but the main point here for Tyler Sagan, it is disappointing. And he should be disappointed because they're not giving him they're not giving him a uh, contract because of what he's done for the team so far. He's been there one of their top players. Him and Ben are great friends. They have a great relationship. And try try explaining that to your fan base though, if he leaves in free agency. Like Yeah, you how, you can't. Yeah. You have to trade him. Like there's no it's the the this John Savara signing it it opens some eyes for a lot of players. It's like maybe I don't need to sign here. Maybe I do want to go sign with another team or with my favorite team. Yeah, you know, like I can go play true. anywhere I want to now. I can go play with my friends if I want to go play with my friends because people are gonna give me the money I want, give me the term I want, and I can get the team I want. So it, it you know, if they trade him, he does have him. He has a modified trade clause in his contract, so it's not like they're they're gonna. Even if they do, let's say, for whatever reason, they traded them to Ottawa. For whatever reason. Okay. They traded them to Ottawa at the end of, at, in the trade deadline. He doesn't need to sign there. And that's the whole thing. With, once you trade him, like, you have to sign him to an extension, right? Like, yeah. that's the whole point of signing him as, as a player. You want to sign him an extension to get that kind of um, – to get the if, most out of it. If you Yeah, if you make a trade – Prior to the season, mm-hmm. yeah, you you need to sign him to an extension. Right. I mean, if you trade for him at the deadline, yeah, it's it's a rental player that happens every year. Yeah, but trading for someone right now prior to the season needs an extension. Yeah, I mean, he, he again, he's he's a good player. I I just don't um, I just don't really think that that's a something that you can really do with it. I I don't. It's a tough situation. So you don't want it to end up being like Ottawa, where you have. Stone, Carlson, yeah. Anderson, other guy, I can't all do Shane. All those guys um, with one, one year, year left. Exactly. You don't want you don't want to sign Sagan to like a one year million dollar eleven million dollar deal yeah. and then have him just walk away. Because that could happen. It could. That that could be a thing that happens. But anyway, that was our little spiel about Tyler Sagan. <laughs> um The Bag Skate Cantina. The Thank Bag you. Skate you've been listening to the Bag Skate Cantina where we talk about one thing for fifteen minutes. <laughs> one thing and one thing only. So I hope you guys like this. Subscribe. Like the video. What do we have coming up next? When we come back, this is this was for all the YouTube people. So if you want to keep listening, uh, we'll have another video right after this with Twitch Twitch Prime streamer Go Bar South. We're gonna continue our EA NHL rankings. Um, if you want to listen to that, we'll have a link in the description. Um, if you like this video, leave a like. If you really like this video, subscribe. Um, and if you really, really, really like this video, leave comment something in the description saying that you love me. We'll see you in a little bit. This is Bagsgate. Yeah.